see 60s out of the gate this morning, 73 by 10 a.m., 77 by the lunch hour. Through this afternoon, we'll once again push into those 80s, but I don't think we'll be as warm today as we've been the last several days in the middle 80s. We'll begin this little slide downhill with those lower 80s today, and then I'm expecting right at that 80 degree mark for tomorrow. First alert radar, it's quiet across the 435 loop from areas near uh, Lee Summit, extending through the triangle, Leewood, Prairie Village, Overland Park, Olathe, up through Bonner Springs and DeSoto. But look really closely with me here, a little burst of rain. That happened about 4 o'clock this morning. It's completely done now, falling apart. But I'm showing you that because I do think there's a potential. We may see another quick little band of rain like that as we're moving through the next couple of hours. It's not off the table here in Kansas City. But where we have more organized rain, your eyes certainly drawn to areas of northeast Kansas. Valley Falls through Horton, extending up the I-29 corridor. This is moderate rain that's falling. I'm not picking up on any lightning with this. So again, these are just some good old-fashioned rain showers this morning. North along I-29 from Mound City, just north of Savannah through Tarkio. Moderate rainfall for the beginning of this Friday. As I zoom this out, you can see main show, north and west, and that's where I'm expecting it to stay for today. Future scan, holding on to that moisture from areas of Hiawatha, St. Joe, and Maryville. By the lunch hour, we still have that cloud cover over the state line, but then as we're moving into this afternoon, and by 7 o'clock tonight, all of that pushes into central Kansas, and we will likely clear out very quickly for the second half of the day. So if you are one of those lucky fans with tickets tonight, here's a look at your hour-by-hour -hour forecast. I think we'll start the game in the upper 70s as we're moving towards that seventh inning stretch right around 73 degrees. And then by the time we're picking up another W out at Kauffman Stadium for tonight, by about the 10th inning, readings will drift into the upper 60s. So a light royal blue jacket may very well come in handy out at Kauffman Stadium by the end of the game tonight. Now we will see beautiful, ideal conditions. So many fall festivals across our area this weekend. Beautiful for both Saturday and Sunday. I know many of you are looking for our next chance of rain. We could really use some moisture. That looks to move in Wednesday and Thursday of next week.